Hello YouTubers, Rogue Monkey Jr. here, and I'm super excited because we're finally getting a CTE for Battlefield 1, as well as the, some of the patch notes for the uh, February patch have been released. So I'm going to go over some of those, and I'm also going to tell you guys how you can get into the Battlefield 1 CTE. First things first, uh, you will need to be a premium member for Battlefield 1 to actually be able to get into the CTE, as it was in Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. You needed the premium because, uh, first of all, in the CTEs, there were uh, all the DLC maps. So if you didn't have premium, you couldn't really play uh, on the CTE because you didn't have access to those premium maps or DLC maps for that matter. So the way that you're able to get into the CTE, uh, for right now, it's only codes that are being given to certain members just to start off the CTE. And then in the next couple of days, there should be uh, a registration available on the Battlefield Companion app that is available for iPhone, Android phones, and Microsoft phones. Uh, you just go and click on the community test environment, then there should be a registration thing and you just agree to the terms. And then in your origin, you'll be able to see the CTE you'll have to download it and then you'll be able to play and try it out all the new things that DICE want to implement into the game now let's talk about the features that are going to be in the upcoming patch in February so they're adding ribbons into uh, the game so basically they're adding 20 ribbons and each time you collect a ribbon you receive 500 XP the ribbons are designed to promote good team play and playing the objective and they also added that if people have suggestions for ribbons that they should put into the game that they're always listening and they're open for suggestions so that's pretty cool there are are now also elite codices which uh, are available for eight of the primary weapons so basically if you get 500 more kills uh, for the eight available weapons which you can get codexes for uh, you'll be granted 25,000 XP and then they say this not bad when you're chasing those new max class ranks so yes of course we are getting increased max class ranks so each class can now be leveled up to 50 and when you hit that 50 it says that you will get some extra nice class flare in the kill card to really taunt your fallen foes so that's just gonna make it so that there's more progression or there's something to work towards too as opposed to now hitting level 10 you get that final gun and it was pretty much a stalemate after that there will now be a vote map feature in the battlefield servers not all the servers will have this some will never have it at all uh, so basically players on the server will get two options to vote for and whichever alternative gets the most votes will be the next map the options will be randomly selected from the server's map rotation and this is all going to be done in the victory screen so no extra time between rounds will be added so that's a pretty cool feature seeing as most battlefield 4 private servers actually had this feature it's just nice to see that they're implementing this and they're listening to the community now there have been many weapon balances and tweaks and changes that are going to be featured in the upcoming patch uh, i'm just going to go over the ones that i find are the most important or the most relevant so they increase the damage of the Martini Henry between 30 and 80 meters slightly so it's going to be interesting to see how uh, they actually change the damage and what it's going to look like. Uh, they reduce the damage of the impact grenades from 80 to 72 so uh, reducing slowly but surely the grenade spam. Gas grenades are of course being looked at so what we're getting so far is the reduced gas duration from 22 to 15 seconds so this will hopefully make gas a little bit less annoying but I still believe that we should only get one gas grenade when we have them equipped. They finally fixed the horse glitch if I can say so. I don't know if it was really a glitch but when you were getting killed from multiple meters away by the cavalry sword apparently that's going to be fixed so it's, it says improve cavalry victim experience you should no longer get killed by cavalry using a saber from multiple meters away. So that's good for the receiving end of the cavalry sword. Not so good if you're the actual cavalry man, but um, I do believe that they really need to fix this. There have also been some suppression tweaks and low health visuals so um, I can't wait to see how they actually fix these and for custom games and rent server programs they added the custom game setting to toggle behemoth on or off and they also added the custom game setting to toggle squad leader only spawn as it was in battlefield 2 and also this option was available in battlefield 4 on top of all that at some point we are going to get a hardcore preset for the server browser which is very good because I have been complaining about this even though I don't play hardcore that much I still feel as though hardcore is one of the important parts of Battlefield and that it should just be uh, a unified hardcore game setting as opposed to going in and changing all the settings individually in order to get the hardcore game experience so that's really good for people who are playing hardcore and I also do think that they will change hardcore in order for it to resemble more uh, how it was before or even Battlefield 4 because right now hardcore players don't really get the hardcore experience just because the bullet damage just doesn't do enough damage 
Carnage. It just doesn't feel as though it's really hardcore. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hyped for all these changes. I think this is going in the right direction for Battlefield 1, and it's what made Battlefield 4 such an amazing game is the CTE, so I'm really excited for that being implemented to Battlefield 1. At some point, they do want to put the CTE on Xbox One and PS4. I don't know how long that will be, but they're trying their hardest to make it as quick as possible so that we have as many players as we can have in the CTE testing things out and fixing issues and tweaking and all that stuff so that Battlefield 1 can be the best game it possibly can be. It did have a better launch than the other Battlefield titles, but I do believe that there's still a lot of work to be done, and I just personally can't wait to participate in said CTE. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channels for more videos like this one, and I'll also leave a link in the description down below letting you know all the information that you need to know to actually be, be a part of the community test environment. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.